Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm recording this after the fact, because I wanted a whole spiel at the start of this episode, being like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this, this, and that, and none of it happened. So, in this video, we get all the industrial structures, stuff and things, and we do a bunch of taming, and we also kill a Giga and a Charcarodontosaurus, which is pretty exciting. So, if you end up enjoying this video, be sure to like and possibly subscribe, and let's get on with the show. Alright, I haven't done the intro yet, but there's a 125 Fiomia, and right there is a mutated 127 Fiomia. So, uh, I think I know what we're going to be doing right now. Alrighty, welcome home. So, you know the drill, claim the cool baby. Hello. Be sure to name it if it survives. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of food. Uh, and it'll need imprinting in two minutes. And I'll just hang around and do- You always get stuck here. What is your deal? Man, you've got a lot of stone. Good job, pal. Keep it up. I spotted this 145 Pteranodon across the way. I can't believe it. There we go. And it's a female. And I believe our 145 is a male. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. CP night night time. That's pretty good health right off the hop. And I believe that's better Stam too. Cool. I'm just gonna wait a while, then feed it some prime. Uh, Fiomia needs another cuddle here in half a second. Dang, Navid, the cuddle imprint went hit, hit zero as soon as it grew up. That's still quite a bit of health. And the reason why I wanted one is because uh, we're making a garden sooner rather than later, and we need a poop machine. Ain't that right, buddy? Oh, I was busy doing some busybody work. Oh, I guess that's why they call it that, eh? And the Pteranodon tamed up, so let's bring him over here and check out the stats. I wish all my dinos weren't right here because I totally send like the Diplocolis after that Travelabite. Anyways, because they get a lot of resources from them. Yes, words. Ooh, I already noticed something. Alright, so bring him over here. Uh, so compared to our best one, 1400 through... Four, let's just say 1400, 400. And then. Wrong guy. 1600, okay, a little bit higher. 208 weight versus 213 weight. And. It doesn't matter, because you took her mating. And you're going to make a great baby. Hopefully. Oh, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do storage for the house. And I hate the look of all these boxes right here, but they only have 45 slots. Well, S plus stuff has 300. So I'm like, okay, whatever. This house, honestly, on the outside, it looks fine. But on the inside, there is like zero space for anything. And way up here, beside the bed, we have a little bookshelf for all our blueprints. Notably, the crazy wooden club, slingshot, and two saddles we got last episode. Uh, other than that, I'm just gonna keep piddly farting around and try and f make something work. So the thing is, you can get industrial stuff and things from yellow and red loot drops. Uh, like, way down here, like an industrial, industrial forge, which is 2,500 metal ingots, or a chem bench, which is also super expensive, or industrial cooker, which is also way up there. I'm like, well, do I really want to have to build all that stuff myself, or should I do loot runs for, like, ages in the chance that I get it? So, I, I don't know. Baby! Did you also get a mutate? No mutation. 223. So, you did pretty well on stats, I'd say. I like the green. Dang it, I was just farming up some berries, and I aimed over here, and I hit the big tree right there. Ugh, I wanted to leave that one because it looked nice. Well, since I accidentally cut down the giant tree, I'm going to clear out the rest of the space too. I already got to work a bit with the doe, but I'm going to let him finish up the work himself. You could do it. Yeah, buddy. Um, I even missed a loot drop. I was so busy just straight up farming stone. Uh, I have 
over a large storage box full. Let's go. Let's go check it out. I just want to show off, flex my really low gather rates. Uh, it's more stone. Ah, here's the box full of stone, which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't a lot, because I hate 45 slot storages. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna clean that out. Probably clear off the. <laughs> I don't know why that's that, he he's working hard that's for sure what was I doing I'm, I'm so lost uh for greenhouse stuff and things I already learned the engrams greenhouse stuff and things ooh cementing paste in crystal uh well how much is a chem chemistry bench oof that's all I can say oof hopefully we can find one on a red uh Red drop. Hello, I summon the red drops. So I'm clearing this out at a pretty good pace, and I'm like, these big fronds, like the Diplo doesn't harvest them, this uh, Doa doesn't harvest them. So I come over here, you pick them up by hand. It's like we're cleaning the beach. Yay, community service. I think I've gone insane. I'm going down the beach, I'm like, ooh, here's a branch. Ooh, here's a branch. Ooh, here's a branch. Wait, what? I, 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 I just turned around and it all came back. I was just over there and it all came back. So one cool thing with this game is, oh, not that, this. Uh, you don't need pipes anymore for your pipes stuff and things. So what if we just like, yeah. So the blue bubble is basically where anything within the bubble will have water to it. Oh, I have an, oh, I have such a good idea. Oh, I have such a good idea. So, we just come bring it over here to the water. If you can, if you guys can let me through pretty please. Come on. <laughs> this is, okay, so just plop it down anywhere in the water. And now, uh, I believe you can show the range. Good. That's not as big as I was expecting, and that's what she said. Now, if you put down a water reservoir within that circle, it expands it. And I think we got one from a drop. Oh, there it is. Pop. Uh, so, in, hmm. Now, the, what is a, so there's a blue arrow. Can I just, like, put it right here and it'll work? As long as there's touching can we show range I uh, don't oh of course whoa okay. okay okay yes that does work because see right here water 5,000 over 5,000 and it's irrigated so I'm hello uh, I'm thinking about making the, uh, ooh, drink, drink. Uh, I'm going to pick it up for now, and it's going to go inside of the greenhouse. I think the greenhouse, come on, zoom way out. Hmm. It's going to be hard to try and center it, but, like, see this little patch of dirt? I think it'll be somewhere around there. So the dinos have a lot of space to roam around it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, here's a problem. I lined up the house with the like entrance to the water part thingamajig. So the house kind of faces this way. But if you look on the map, the inlet is like along this area. So the greenhouse and the house won't line up. And that's just gonna bug me. Oh my God. I wish I never noticed that. And how are you doing on stone? Good job. Well, just zooming around, found a 140 female RG that has beautiful colors. Bad news is, there's a lot of... Wait, is this the same place where we found the other one? Like the one I'm riding? That's kind of funny if it is. But, oh, there's two T-Rexes and a Titano and a Fairy. Oh, God, this might not go well. But, I, yeah. Yikes. Oh, 
Well, that wasn't that bad. Now I just gotta clear the area and make sure it doesn't die. Oh god, I'm scared. Just using stuff I found in loot drops, we were able to make a tiny, tiny little, uh, like, shelter for it, basically. And if something manages to, something other than our Rex manages to get in here, they can have it, honestly. Like, but there's just so many, uh, I put all my stuff in here, but there was like, 10 walls and whatnot, and, well, you never would get behemoth gates from drops before, so, sweet, now we just gotta wait for it to grow up. Behold, a new friend. So level 209, I love the colors, but now we have to make the long trip home. I think I'm just gonna leave that there, because, like, the cave is right over there, so we'll probably be back here in a second. I kind of want to go for some more loot drops and whatnot. Welcome home. Now immediately make me a baby. Behavior. Enable mating. Hello, baby. Hello. Hey, you got the good colors and you're a female. What are your stats looking like? I forget it. Is that the... Did we get all the good stats? I don't know. But come on out here. And you grow up and you're gonna get imprinted and you're gonna be our war RG. So be sure to leave a name in the comments. Well, I was walking down the stairs and when it hit the water it started to fly and now it won't land. Just please land. Please? Behold, baby no more. And what's better is I managed to get 100% imprinting on it. Yeah, no mutations, right? So almost 4,000 health over 400% melee damage. 860 weight. Uh, I gotta find another saddle for this bad boy. Or girl. Oh, did I already say name it? Name it. Alrighty, here's our first damage test. Parasaur coming on up. Oh, I thought that was a 140 trike with a baby. I was about to freak out. Ready, and That's about what we're getting on headshot. Interesting. What about you? Oh. Oh, that's a lot of damage. All right, how much health do you get per level? Should we go up to 5k? Oh, yeah, that won't take a long at all. Oh, but that's a real nice clean number, though. Jeez. Uh, holy moly, look what I just got from a yellow drop with a ring. 106 armor, aloe saddle, and a 327 damage fabricated pistol. And we even get ammo out of the waz. Oh my god, that's a lot of polymer. Yikes. I don't know if I recorded this bit, but we found a female Rex baby while I was out leveling up the Urgy. And so now, once it grows up, I'm not going to imprint it. Because then we can have infinite uh, Rex eggs. I might decrease the breeding timer like we did in the last series. I'm also really looking forward to... Uh, mods but i kind of want to play through this a bit more without mods maybe like there's a modded map called like Sfarlheim or something and maybe we can do a bunch of mods with that that'd be pretty fun right ain't that right ain't that right oh yeah and another thing so you may see level up available i have three levels available putting us up to let's go up to 400 weight Level 9, wait, did that say 97? Oh my goodness, that's nuts. But the RG that we bred is already level 278, 900% melee damage. I just want to, I just want to show off, I'm so, oh, drop, okay. First of all, let's try and snag this Pteranodon, okay? Level 40, yeah? Once we slowly make our way over there, you're, it, it's a lot of damage. That was a headshot. I don't normally do <laughs> that much damage. Boy, oh boy, I do love my metal runs. That's actually not that bad for the low rates that we're getting. But I can't wait to have to sit around a forge and wait for it to smelt for like hours. Well, I was just clearing out the island for, uh, what's the word? Ankies. And, uh, this 125 trike had triplets. So I'm like, okay, why not? Now, where's the third? There's the third one. Now, why do you look different? Are you all the same level, 187? Alrighty, come on, let's go home. Waiting for the metal to melt up is taking absolutely forever. So, what if we take this? Is this... Yeah. 
So, I might regret this. But, what if we go like this? So six. And just plop it down wherever we can. Good enough. Put some doors in there. Now, if we take the, the doors themselves and demolish them... That's a lot of metal. No, you're so close. And then we can just come over here. I'm going to put you on here. And this... You, you're already encumbered? Oh my god. But yeah, so we do that. And we do it... Come on, not that. We do it again with this one. And then again with the one I'm holding. And then we'll have enough for an industrial uh, smelter. Yeah, I probably should have brought the RG closer for that first one. So demolish. That's pretty good. And like, I don't need... Do I want to keep the last gate? You know what? I will keep the last gate. Just because... Because I can. <laughs> I probably won't even end up ever using it. But it'll be good to have as a backup. So, thanks Loot Drops. Oh crap, gotta be fast. I uh, was just putting some organic polymer in here. And we have just enough for the refining forge. Oh wow. Or industrial forge. My apologies. Now the real question is... Okay, so... Next up, I want to do a chem bench, which needs a lot more polymer and electronics. And I also want to do a uh, grinder, because we get a lot of really good stuff from drops. Okay, you can turn off for now. Oh yeah, I forgot. This thing is uh, kind of massive. Crap, where are we going to put it? On the roof? Honestly, I'm just extending the back patio for a bit. Uh, plus, we can always pick it up later. Ah, what a beauty! Hello! Pachink! Nicely done, nicely done. Uh, now... Uh, oh! Oh, I can actually just turn it on without having to do anything. Because we have the generator right here. I think I'm gonna extend this out a bit more. And like, have it go down, maybe closer towards the water. So if we ever get a dunkle or something, we can pull it up and lay, like... Take the metal into this. That'd be kind of neat. Kind of looks a little out of place back here, though. Secret wall. And in case if you guys didn't know, the uh, normal refining forge does, I think it's one metal every 30 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. But with the industrial forge, I believe it's 20 every 20 seconds. So it's like one per second. It, it, it may still may still seem pretty slow but it is definitely worth it now i'm just gonna put all the metal back in here and i'm gonna keep on grinding of course the one drop i don't record we get ascendant flak boots an ascendant crossbow an ascendant megalocero saddle and a mastercraft anki saddle it was just a yellow drop with a ring and of course it has awesome jeez but we are encumbered jesus Pete. For a couple things that I'm going to be crafting, I need some organic polymer. So let's craft up this really good Ascendant wooden club. At least one of them to start. It's pretty expensive. Wow. 0.1% crafting skill bonus. Maybe I'll farm up a bit more wood and try again. Alrighty, let's give this thing one more shot. Oh, and I just want to be frank with you guys. Sorry, it's Eric. Wait. Hey, that's 1%. Oh, hey, pal. Anyways, I just want to say I uh, modified the settings just a little bit. I uh, changed the... What's the word? The breeding settings to be, honestly, a little overpowered. But I just do not have the time to sit around for a couple hours just waiting for dinos to breed again. And two... I uh, increased the harvesting up to uh, 1.5 times, so honestly, not that big of a difference, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Now I gotta go get some polymer. With this club, oh, I might need to put some fur on too. Do you guys want to see a magic trick? First, we have a Kairuku, and now we have 22 organic polymer. Wow! Oh heck, I was just getting a red loot drop and there was a 140 saber tooth. Don't mind if I do. Hello, cat. Oh, let me check your stats. Eh. Well, I landed for some stam, and my cat got stuck in a tree. <laughs> Somebody call the fire department. 
Oh my god. Behold, childbirth. Uh, you're higher level than the mother, so come on. This way. I think this is why they invented C-sections. Oh, sweet. With the uh, breeding rates that I ha now have. Yes, they grow up really fast, but now all I need is one imprint. And Chloe is sitting beside me dreaming. It is adorable. I actually think this Sabretooth got all the best stats because the dad has... Uh, what is it? 675 stem and over... I mean, oxygen and over 6,000 food. While this one has less food... Wait, 660 versus... 675. Yeah, so it has less food and oxygen, but still is a higher level. It has the uh, the mom's melee and health, at least. I forget what stamina. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 820 stam versus... This thing's awesome. Behold, a damage test. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh-oh, this is bad. This is bad. I've been going around looking for Ankies, and there's a 130 right here on the island. Sweet! I'm gonna go tame up this bad boy. Talk about a, a distraction from a distraction. Guess who got distracted again? So, a male and female Kairuku. These are actually two relatively high levels for the island. However, I can't knock them out with my crossbow, because they die. Ooh, saber tooth. Hello! Mid. 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 Uh, so I have to go build a long neck rifle, unfortunately. Behold, a long neck rifle. And I need simple rifle ammo. This makes six. Uh, you need narcotic. Oh goodness, where did I put that? Nighty night. CP time. CP CP time. Now time to get... You're not my RG. Oh, there you are. Get back here, you son of a gun. Uh, the other one should be right down here. I had to separate them so they weren't mate boosted. CP night night time. I'm starting to get a few too many new friends, if you know what I mean. Yeah, these guys are just gonna make a lot of babies. Let's play What's That Gender? You are a male! Is this considered spawn camping? Oh, that is not a lot. I'm sorry. And with that, we have enough to make a chem bench. Don't mind if I do. I think next up it's going to be the cooker, then the grinder, wherever that is. But those are expensive. Guys, 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 guys. You don't need gasoline and power. Oh, that's awesome. It used to require gas and power for the normal one. Nice. I gotta say, getting metal nowadays really sucks. On the bright side, I can just swing down by here and drop the Anki off. Nicely done, nicely done. So then I don't have to walk as far to transport the metal. And in here, ooh, Rexic, thank you. Uh, in here, I have a lot of crystal and stone and flint. Uh, excuse me, what the heck? My overraptor was killed by a stego. When did, what? I don't even recall that happening. Surprise, new Rex, haha. -ha. What are you, female? Sweet. All right, come on. Let's go. All right, while the metal smelting and stuff, I just wanted to spice things up a bit. Here's the baby. Got it fully imprinted. Just barely, though. And then... Achievement! You rode your first T-Rex. Nicely done. Nicely done. Man, you have a horrible turning radius. Should we test it out on this Bronto? All right, everybody passive. What level are you? What level are you? 10? All right. 314 without any levels pumped into it? Holy crap, this thing's awesome. Good job, buddy. So for the rest of this video, OBS was like, hey, you know that condenser microphone you've been using? Yeah, I don't know where it went, even though it's still plugged in. So I get to do a voiceover. So I was out collecting crystal on the volcano, and uh, I didn't run into one, but two unwelcome guests. And let's just say I was uh, panicking. 
So this next clip is over 8 minutes long, and it's just me wailing on the Charkar and the Giga. They uh, didn't really fight back too much. I lured the Charkar into the lava so it takes some extra damage, but it ended up dying to the lava, so I didn't get the uh, Giga Heart, which joy oh joy. And then the Giga was just straight up stuck in the wall, so I just hovered above it and wailed on it. Uh, it was easy. They did not fight back. It wasn't really fair, but hey, it took us like 30 episodes to kill one in the first series with a wyvern, so I'm pretty impressed. Next up is crafting the industrial grinder, which takes 2,000 crystal, which took a very long time to make. And then I proceeded to skill issue trying to place it down for like a good 15 seconds. Uh, the S plus one crafts a lot more stuff, but the vanilla one only crafts uh, thatch and flint, joy. So then I went and grabbed uh, three lances and just plopped them in there to see how much resources we get out of just them. And holy crap, lances give a lot of materials. So I was pretty stoked about that. And then I went and just slot capped it with all the different garbage I could find and we grinded that up. And it definitely made a huge chunk towards getting enough resources for the industrial cooker. And last, but certainly not least, is the industrial cooker. It's not as flashy as the other two, but I have a feeling it'll be really useful in the long run. Uh, so I, if you'd notice, I put it right outside the range of the water tap, which is stupid. And I'm like, huh, this isn't working. I scroll through all the dies, and I'm like, okay, that's enough for this episode. <laughs> so then I, and then let's uh, wrap it up, I guess. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. Sorry that I, this episode wasn't perfect, but y you can blame OBS for that. Uh, if you ended up liking it at all, sub like and subscribe, perhaps, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye